Good afternoon. Welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Ian. And I'm Lauren. And this is the bar class. Although it might be called the barbell class because, yes, we have slippers on our feet and bars on our walls. But those kettlebells right here, grab yours. Or for this week, just pretend. We'll start with those basics. But let's integrate a little plie and a little press overhead. We get that full body strength thing going, Lauren. Hips and shoulders. Hips and shoulders to start. Buddy joints they are. Ooh. Let's start at the feet. With a nice foot warm up, we'll get a little core going, plie, and then it's time to hit the metal. It's not really a saying. Gently bend your knee, Ooh. pressing your knee forward and pushing that dorsal, um, sorry, demi point foot into the floor. Then we'll rise and gently switch. As we come down, we come with a straight leg and that hip extended, staying nice and level. Let's alternate sides here, just gently marching through those feet finding a light balance at the top, but still having that balance aid off to the side, just so that it's not quite about the balance yet. We'll get to that. On this one, stay, demi point, then use your toes to point. Gently flex around over the toes. Try to keep the ankle and the knee in the same line. Come back to the demi point, press and switch other side. Same thing, light toe point. Gently flex around over the toes, back to the toe, the demi, this time find your balance on two demi point rises, up nice and tall, kneecaps are pulled up, cheeks are squeezed, ribs are over top of hips, and that's also gonna be important for our presses. Slowly descend heels towards the floor. Let's squeeze our cheeks, use our external rotators of our hips to rotate open to that first position, and then rotate back to parallel. Two more times, high butt cheeks, turn those legs open and center, and last time, high cheeks, this time, demi point, and we'll press and switch. Again, just marching through the feet, trying to keep the knee to the side as we do this, the inseam forward and the heels forward. Keep that rotation coming from the high cheeks. Last one, and then we'll do the same. Toe point, flex around over the toes, staying tall on the inside leg as you come back to the other side. Demi point, toe point, flex round over. Get back to the demi, let's push up to double toes and find our balance in what we call our first position. Square to the front of the room, cheeks squeezed, brace and then light descent. Let's turn our feet back to parallel. From there, gently rotate in, meaning pivot on the balls of the feet, rotating the heels open and lightly internally rotate on those femurs. Then pull the heels back together to parallel feet, give that a little shake. We'll warm up our core strength for our presses, and then we'll get back into a quick plie warm up there. All right, new setup, just finding my way around the bells here. We'll do our first forward fold, blades lightly retracted, chin tucks. Flex first on the neck, then keeping your blades together, try to flex through the upper back. Thinking belly button in, going up and over, tying your shoes in an alleyway. Take your time, try not to push your hips back. Keep your hips extended as you flex over top of them. Next, walk yourself out into your plank position. In your plank, your hands are under your shoulders, your cheeks are squeezed, and you're pulling the floor together underneath you. This is the tension you'll need when you go to press your kettlebell overhead. So prep it now. Pull the floor together. Squeeze your cheeks. If I came through the screen and tried to push you over, you wouldn't move for five, four, three, Two, tailbone to the ceiling, lift the hips. Let's gently this time just walk our hands back to our feet. Try to keep the tailbone tipped towards the ceiling. As you come back, tucking the chin and slowly belly button in, pulling or rolling yourself all the way up to tall, tall. Oh, since we, it's in the title, please impress us. Let's warm up those plies. First starting in parallel. Let's revisit that demi point position. So one knee comes to the demi point. The other knee will bend. We'll press through to tall extended leg. Press up, switch legs. Upon landing, the knee bends, absorb that landing. Let's do this for about four more. Again, we're keeping our hips and our shoulders square forward. Our shoulders are stacked right over top. We're not leaning forward in this knee bend, but staying nice and upright. One more time each side. Breathing, full extension, full cheek squeeze. Let's go one more rise and test our balance up. Hold, could you look around the room? Could you take your arms off your bar? And then slowly descend heels to the floor. 
Next, rotate with the cheeks to the first position. Bend one knee to that demi point and then plie and press up and switch. Remembering when I say plie, it's just a fancy word of saying knee bend or squat. So don't be afraid by the French words here. <laughs> knees go to the side. Perfect French. Thank you. Uh, knees go to the side, inseams are forward and engage those high cheeks to keep that turnout. I've lost count because of my French accent was so distracting. So let's do last one. And then press to that tall position again. Holding, squeezing, looking around the room and then descending with control. Last one, I promise. We'll point a foot out to the side to that second position. Toe ball, heel it down. Let's keep our heels flat for this first one as we pull ourselves into our plie or our squat. Hang out here, maybe break some rows and shift side to side, then press to tall. This time, let's pull ourselves down. And again, break some rows, but peel those heels off. Could you find a balance? And then heels back down and press to tall. And one more time, but this time one demi. Knee bend, press, heel down, other side. Knee bend, press down, heel comes down. Finish it out with one regular plie or squat, staying stacked. Push those knees open, then push down and away to stand up tall. Whew. Hips are feeling good. We'll get into some of those loosey goose drills in a second. Did that give you time to warm up those hips and check in with the feet and maybe grab that kettlebell? We'll be taking that kettlebell for a press overhead, but if that's not for you, grab it. Grip it, hold it low or hold it in this rack position. Get familiar with that kettlebell. Maybe join some of those basics videos in our archive, but in a moment, we'll come for you. So oh, not yet. until we get to those Don't go anywhere. fists of iron, light hands and light style right now. We'll prepare the arm as we move out to the side and then back to that first position, and then the side. Let's integrate Lauren's plie, which is a knee bend, straighten that outside leg, point tendu, stretch, and then close. Repeat a tendu, meaning a straight leg to the front, and back to first. Repeat our plie, stretch out to the side, and then stretch the standing leg. Close the heels together, point to the side, and close the heels again. A plie to the back, Stretch to close, straight out the back, toe point, and close. En croix means to the side, more fancy French words. The heels will connect, the point to the side, then this time pull up to our first single leg balance today, that coup de pied position down low. With the hands on the bar or without, squeeze your standing leg, knee points to the side on the elevated leg, and then open the hand to the side and return feet, and then a plie and a full stretch. Add your shake and wiggle. Mm. Let's repeat that on the other side. We have a stability leg, mobility leg, and a kettlebell right there. We're coming. It's still there. So we prepare the arm. And then to tall. A plie, a tendu, meaning straight leg front and stretch. Close, tendu, close. Plie, leg side, full stretch, close, tendu, close. Plie, to the back and stretch, close, tendu, close and repeat to the side or en croix as the heels touch, the toes point, the heels touch, and then pull in to our coup de pied balance, that flat foot for right now. If you have that hand in the bar, minimize the grip. If not, maximize your stability and then open up to the side, add our plie and our full stretch. Well, this one's Lauren's and that one's mine over there. We'll be doing about five rounds of this pressing exercise today. I love the bar. I might be called the bar specialist in this relationship. The kettlebell though, that's Lauren's realm. So cue us up, Lauren, what would you do? Boom, boom. Yeah, I'll side by side, okay. my mistake. Theater school here, face your audience. All right, went to that. All right, standing, facing your bell. We're gonna cheek lean that bell to the rack position. Maybe you stay in that rack and just hold it with the vertical forearm preparing for lift off one day, or let's join us in one press. Hip hinge, grip bell. Pull to rack, adjust your stance as needed, and then hook butts and abs to press that bell overhead. Pull it down with control. Two hands, use your hinge, place bell down. Excellent. I'm just gonna do a little spin of my... Yeah, those set designers, come on, who's in charge here? All right, 
Same thing, second side. Hip hinge, grip, racket. Adjust your stance, hook, press, pull down, and two hands to park. We're jumping right into that press. And if your shoulder mobility doesn't maybe look quite like this and it looks a little bit more like this, that's fine. You should check out our website, maybe book an appointment, virtual or real life, check out those basics videos, or just practice holding in that rack position. Grooving with bare hands is another good idea, but that's also in the basic section, so I'm pretty much just repeating what Lauren said. Let's integrate the same plie with our jeté with a little extra challenge with the arm placement. So feet are in the first position, prepare the arm, out to the front and then side. The jeté means off the floor. So we'll plie, jeté, stretch, close, jeté, close. Just pause, because we're going to do that again, but this time when the legs out front, arm overhead. So plie, jeté, stretch, close, jeté, close, arm side, plie, out to the side, full stretch, close, jeté, close. Now out the back and stretch, close, jeté, close, and side, plie, jeté, stretch, close, jeté, close. Repeat one more time here, but just the jetés, four in each direction. Jeté front, two, three, four, and side, two, three, four, and front, two, <laughs> that. three, that's all right, and side, two, three, and four. And then Lauren was right, we all like to finish with those balances, so flat feet if that's for you, hand on the bar if that's for you, or find those demi points in that coup de pied position. Squeeze your standing leg. Maintain your composure as you breathe. Try to keep your turn out. to the floor. I had to cut that one short there, Lauren, personally, but great balance for you. And then our plie, and then our full stretch. Whew. Same thing on the other side. So it's our plie with our jetés en croix, and then four repetitions en croix, jeté after. So that arm prepares. Overhead is right. Well, plie, jeté, close, jeté, close. Plie, jeté, stretch, close, jeté, close, plie, stretch, and close, jeté, close, and plie, stretch, close, jeté, close. Return the arm overhead, and four, three, two, and one, arm side, three, two, and one, arm front, three, two, and one, and side, three, two, and one. And pull up to that ankle again, that's that coup de pied. Maybe just stand there, arms first position or an arm on the bar, and then find that demi point rise, stacking the ribs over those hips, then opening the arm side, finishing our plie, and our full body stretch. Whew. Hips I said, and adductors, whoa. Yeah, yeah. When what I said specialist, I meant enthusiast. The bar enthusiast, but definitely the kettlebell specialist. So mm. back to you, Lauren. All right, we're adding a rep. We're going up to number two. That's what comes after number one. If you don't want to do two, you do one. Here we go. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. One minor. I just like my feet Get a little bit right. narrower 100%. when I press and I'm just finding the right place. Here we go. Hip hinge, grip to rack, one or two. One, inhale, pull the bell down. Two, pull down. Park that bell with control. Give a little shake. Other I think you side. found the noisiest part on the floor. I did find the noisiest part on the floor. When we press, we have abs. When we press, we have butt cheeks, and they both work together. So think about pushing down, pulling your kneecaps up, squeezing your cheeks. You can kind of see me do it. All that energy shoots it. Whoop. The bell up overhead. Let's practice that on the other side. Inhale to rack. One. Inhale down. Two. Pull down and park. Whew. There we go. So get the bell set up just the way you like. Just off the squeaky floor. Off the squeaky floor, and that matters too, but definitely the spacing as Lauren was talking about. The spacing in your plie, listen and feel for those hips, the differences between your first and second. Same thing here, pay attention. Nothing is too small to be valuable to help you with your press. Well, well. Kind of stretched out those legs out front a little bit. We visit, visited that ankle coupe position. So one of Lauren's favorite drills is that give the flowers and take the flowers, développe, enveloppe. More French words, more fun. So prepare the arm. We know that gateway already. And 
We'll pull up to the ankle. We'll point to the front. We'll pull to first and then reverse. Tendu front, knee side, finish to tall. Out to the side, we'll go four jetés. One and two, three and four. Then repeat to the back. Knee side, back, first to the back. Knee side, down, four. Three, let's go to the front again. We'll go knee side and point, first to point, knee side and down, one, two, three and four. Knee side, back, first, back, knee side, down, four, three, two, one. One more time to the front, Whoa. first and front. Knee side and down, four, three, two and one. Knee side and back, first to the back, knee side and down, four and three, two to one, and pull up. Move through that passe, excuse me, move through the ankle towards the passe, and let's just hold that flat foot again. Lauren, what are we focusing on here? I'm pushing that standing leg straight down, extending that standing leg hip, and trying so hard to keep the turnout in both of my legs. So those high cheeks again are working hard as we go three, two, foot down, plie, and stretch. Ooh. My turnout is working very hard. So it's much. all different. And no, we're not professionals, just very passionate enthusiasts. So thank you for being here. Very passionate. Very passionate. Okay. Most of the time. Same thing. It's the devlapes, front and back, jetés out to the side. Three times through. Three times through. Because it's Don't Lauren's, be favorite, Lauren's favorite number. Don't forget your favorite number, Lauren. We'll go knee front, first and front. Knee side down, four, three, two, and one. Knee side to the back, first to the back. Knee side and down, four and three and two and one. Knee side, front, first, front. Knee side and down, four, three, two and one. Now to the back, first to the back. Knee side and down, four, three. Is it one more round? round? Let's go one more round to the front, first and front. Knee side and down, four and three, two and one. Knee side to the back, first to the back. Knee side and down. Four and three and two and whew, then pull up. You got it, Lauren, right to that passe position. Maintain the turnout so hard. I did move my foot there. I'm gonna connect that foot to my hip, the other knee's side, the ribs are over, and we're breathing. And then we're returning to the plie. Sometimes I'm just done holding the passe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. And that also might be my favorite drill. That cadence is fun, gives you a little pep in your step. All right, the squeaks are gone. My mat is in perfect position by Squeaky set number clean. three. Set number three, press number three each side. Again, choose your number, it doesn't have to be three. Here we go. Hip hinge, nice flat back, pull to rack, and up, inhale. On this one, squeeze your cheeks extra, your butt cheeks. Pull down and park. Whew. Contracting those glutes again will send that energy up helping you press the bell. It's a whole body movement, not just those shoulders. Second side. One, inhale. Two. Three. Whew. Very good. That help sound, you can try it at home. You'll feel those abs brace and contract, and that's what we want to push off of. Stable core to press more. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're rhyming. So educational here. That was really good. En Francais, little rhymes, but it's all for a reason. Counting. The reason five. is safety and the reason is strength. We're back on the bar here. We went from those devlapes, enveloppes, re realizing this position. And we'll do that again, but this time in our fondue. So prepare the arm, little paintbrush is out to the side, to the front, and arm stays to the side now. We'll go knee bend together to the coup de pied, Stretch together and bend together. Stretch to the side, repeating that en croix pattern, and then to the back. One more time, knee side. Pause for a second. Return the arm overhead as we add our fondue and stretch. And then arm side as we stretch and arm front as we stretch and arm side. And stretch one more time overhead and stretch to the side. Full stretch, front, stretch back with straight legs. You can hear Lauren saying that in her head. Oh. And then find the passe. Flat foot passe or even down at that coup de pied or progress just like Lauren there and find those demi point rises. It's slow, it's steady, it's with control 
and then it's out to the side with the arm, a plie, full tension to stretch. I would say I feel whew, this. This general when I area. do those fondues. I love the fondue. So really try to rotate that leg open, inseam up. That felt great. Good job. Three times through. Let's. We know what that arm was about to do, so let's do it right away from that first set. So we paint the brush, reach to the front, and then the right overhead. That's probably a better way to do it, Lauren. So then the knees bend together, and they stretch with the toes pointed. Arm side and stretch. Find the back coup de pied, full stretch of that leg to the side and stretch. Overhead, full stretch to the side. Full stretch to the back. Breathe into it to the side. And one more time, overhead with the arm. Leg front, arm side, leg side, arm front, leg back, arm side, leg side, and pull towards that passe position. Stay on the flat foot, squeeze your butt cheeks, breathe, wear those rib cage over the hips, but not too far there, and hold for an extra second or two. And then arm side, plie, full stretch. There we go. All Roll right. This. We have some grace, we have some grit here. Number four. Okay. Meaning four presses and set number four. Remember, my hinge and my press here, I like to hinge from about this width, and then you may notice that I adjust my stance a little bit narrower and I press. Up to you, find the nice base of support to press out of. Hip hinge, grip, pull to rack. One, up to four. Two. Off arm, three, four. Whew. Getting a little bit heavier to talk the whole time through, but the feet are rooted using that full tension. This time I want you to think butts, and I want you to think that off arm tension as you press the bell overhead. Actually, this off arm. Whew. Here we go, second side. One. Two, glutes and an arm. Three, last one. Four, pull it down, use your hinge, park the bell. Whoa. Questions we never get asked on Twitter include, how heavy do you press? The answer for Lauren would be 18 kilograms, and today I'm pressing my 28. <clears throat> I wanted to press a 24, but with Lauren catching up, I needed to just Step it up it's for me. Step it up for me. Just that little bit extra. What weight are you using? Let us know. We have progressions to get to your next load or a desired number of gold standard reps. My goodness. Sorry. That she felt like good. doing something. No, I got distracted in the most pleasant way. Good. Most pleasant way to get distracted in a pirouette. So I'm going to do something really quick. Then Lauren will do something beautifully slow. And together, meet in the middle. Life. Let's do it. Like... I don't know. Frappes, frappes, that Me iced coffee drink middle. or similar. So have the arm out to the side second, and then start with that outside leg in that karate or dorsiflex style out at the side. We'll strike to the front, then go knee side, strike to the back, to the side. rear, then to the rear, and then mm -hmm. side. Let's do it again with that arm staying in side second. Front and side, back and side. Now pause. Go arm overhead and repeat. Front and side, back and side. Front and side and back and side. And front and side and back and side. And one more time if we can. <laughs> awesome way. I just kept if it overhead. If your arm stays there, that's okay too. So let's pretend that went really well. We'll do it, which will the next time. Hold the passe, flat foot. We've already done the rises, Lauren, so maybe it's time to check out that attitude. So with that bent leg slightly out front, toes pointed, of course, I'm trying to touch that bar out at the side. Then we'll return to the passe, finish with a plie and stretch. Oh, the arms are flinging. Lauren did a wonderful job there, where if we do miss the cues, which I'm bound to miss them too, just keep your arm in that same place and maybe try to catch up to it the next time it comes around to where the leg and the arm coordinate together. So paint the floor to the front, then the side. But then we'll go right overhead. We're going this right time. away. So start in that dorsiflex shape, and we'll go strike front, then side, and back, 
and side, and front to the side, to the back to the side, to the front and side, and back and side, and front and side, and back and side. One more time, front and side, and back and side, and then pull up to that passe, stand a flat foot, get that attitude position going. So again, turning out in both hips, as Lauren said from before, squeeze the butt cheeks, reach high, return to the passe, finish with a strong plie, and then shake it out. My goodness, is this our fifth set of presses here? This is our fifth set of presses. Oh, nice. Excellent. Sorry, I'm just mentally preparing. Five presses here. <gasps> here we go. Up to five. Remember, any number below five is also welcome. Hip hinge. Grip bell. One. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Five. Ooh. <sighs> Place that bell down with control. Nice. How'd that go? That went well. Good. That went well. If it felt like you could only do one, grab a lighter bell or just mime and mimic those repetitions. If it felt like you could have done 20 repetitions with the weight available to you, visit our website, go to our store, and buy a kettlebell mm -hmm. from either us or someone locally to you because shipping will be a nightmare yeah, we of an expense. That. So if you're local, get a Pick kettlebell it. from us. If not, kettlebells are great, super functional. If it has enough time to rest, Lauren. Yes. Good. Second side. <sighs> Breaths, abs, core, off arm. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one more, five, boom, excellent, uh, ha, consistency over intensity, it. everybody loves that, don't they? Yeah, five presses, five sets, five presses to finish, that'll be it for those kettlebells for today. Leave them right there, or put them off to the side. Don't go anywhere. And we're going back to the bar. Again, I'll be doing something quick. You didn't get to do your something slow. Well, I didn't know when that was playing. Yeah, no? let's just do that whole segment over again. Except not, not just not the frappes, but this time, 884422. Eight, four, two, two. Oh. Everyone's least favorite, probably. But not the presses. No. Okay. 8844. Eight, four. Commit to that plan. I, I do feel, and Lauren does too, I think, that she could do more presses. And that's great. Save them for the next time. We'll get to do it again. 8842, it means that jete out to the side. We'll go on the and. Let's just prepare that, Lauren, because it will go three, two, and. There's no one? The one is the in. Three, two, one, and. Out on and. and. Three, no. two, one, and. Three, two, one. one, and, yeah. Oh, well, we'll fight about that later. Okay, let's try it out here. We're going eight on the and. Three, two, one, and, two. Three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five, six. It's four. It's four of them again. It's two quick ones, two quick ones. It's pause, pause, pause. Two, four, eight on the and. Three, two, one, and. Two, and, two, four. Three, two, and one. Four, three, two, and one. Eight, seven, six, squeeze your bum, cheeks together, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, <laughs> close. So that satisfies that something fast category. Let's throw it back to Lauren here, and that's something beautifully slow. Uh, Ronde Jean. Whoa. Putting you in French with all the, in charge of all the French that's words right. there. Before we do that, I have one surprise kettlebell move. Oh, no. It's not a press. It's not a press. I just okay. need a hip break, really. Okay. I'm just buying my hips a couple of seconds. Let's stand over top of that bell, pull it to the goblet position, and just hold a standing plank. We used to do a lot of planks in this previous bar class. Missed that today. So let's do one plank, give our hips a little second off, and then we'll go do some slow moves. Hip hinge. Grip the top of your bell. Pull catch. Goblet. Right here, my feet are underneath my body, as it should be. Shoulders retracted, lats engaged. Bell is off of my chest. I'm squeezing my cheeks and I'm bringing my ribs slightly towards my hips. Just as we did earlier in our real plank, feel that tension again. 
pulling everything together. If you want one more bonus, look through the window, then bring it back down for three, two, step hinge, place belt down, park. All right, that gave my rotators a little break. Now I'm ready to do a nice slow. Listen to your body. Rond de jambe or hip bar, as we like to call them. Ooh, I do like that word too. Let's go one more time from that parallel position and really activate those cheeks to open up. We have stability on that standing inside leg, as well as this pelvis core. Try not to let this part of your body move, as well as everything above it. That's right. We will take our arm to the side. It's a little bit of a lie because we plie. We extend and then we stretch. Now that inside leg will not move as you continue reaching the outside leg around the back. Heel leads to the front all the way around. One more time on a nice straight leg. Really try to reach out of the socket as you draw that half circle and plie through center point. Stay on that plie on the inside leg. Check your balance. You're not ripping onto that bar too hard. Stretch the inside leg. Could we reach long and lift the back leg and hold for three, knees straight, two, tap down arm side, opposite direction, side, front, and to the back. As we come around here, try to have that full foot touch the ground through center, toes leading back. We'll go on a plie, reach, test, around the corner to the front, extend, extend, Lift, hold, straight leg, arm could come overhead. Keep that inseam turned up, heel up, then bring it to the passe. Bring that arm down in front, and then let's do one more rise, passe, hold. Hold, breathe. And let's try to find a balance for five continuous seconds. Five, four, three, two. Knee down, foot down, knee bend, stretch to tall. Whew. Whew. Give that a little break, shake. And break, switch sides, shake. break, shake. Shake and break. In that passe, we're trying to get our knee as high as we can to the side, but still keep those hips level, avoiding that joker-like position. I picture the deck of cards, joker. The joker. Yeah. The jester. The jester. Okay, from parallel, externally rotate on those heels to open up. Arm to the side, plie, front, stretch, stretch. Reach around the back. I like to think of this moving leg as a lock and a key. My leg is the key. My pelvis hip here is the lock. Reach, 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 reach. Keep the hips forward. Knee bend, plie front. Keep the, on the knee bend, but test the balance as you reach out of the socket around. Arm comes front, double stretch, stretch. Lift the back leg and hold. Are both knees straight? They could probably be straighter. Good, tap down, come from the back around the side to the front. Toes lead back, full foot should have room to come under center. If you don't have room, it's because you're not tall on that standing leg. One last time, knee bend, reach to the back, stay on the plie all the way to the front. Inseam up, heel up, stretch, stretch, lift, hold. Three, two, passe, Ooh, geez. rise. Five seconds of controlled balance, five. Four, knee side, hips level, drill down to go up. Two, one, and land. Whoa. Excellent. Excellent. We'll finish off with one move for me again, just a nice light shoulder move, and then we'll add that together with Lauren's favorite rib roll series at the very end. So a little porter bra here, we had those hard style movements, some full body strength with the kettlebell. Now let's just stay nice and loose in that spirit of the porter bra. Feet are in first, then just look at a hand as you reach out to the side, then bring it back in, and just return to the first position. From first, same side with your eyes, and look at the hand in second. Then draw a little circle with the wrist, finish nice and long, connecting overhead, and then nice little side bend. Look at the hand as you set the table back to that second position, scoop the neck across, and then circle on the other wrist. Towards overhead, Look where you want to go and just enjoy that side bend to tall and then down. Allonge through the fingers, return back to the prepared position. Little side bend, got you prepped for a little rotation with Lauren here. How are we going to do it today? Today we're going to stay standing. I'm going to actually put my feet on my grippy floor here versus on the wood floor. 
you choose. Whatever you do, your feet are rooted, your hips are facing forward this time, your arms are across your chest. Be able to cross your arms, but or put your arms on your chest, but try to keep those shoulder blades together. So I prefer this position versus this, because then my blades start to come forward. From this position here, I'm gonna do a gentle chin tuck, really squeeze those cheeks to press them forward. And then right now, let's start with just the head. The head's gonna look over one shoulder, and then come back to center. And the other way, the head is gonna look over a shoulder and come back to center. Next, we'll go back to that first side, so head goes. With the hips staying forward, rotate the upper body to follow where that head is. As you're over here, think of a washcloth. Your hip is going forward, your upper body's going the other way like you're wringing yourself out. Bring your head back to center and your body back to center. Second side, head, shoulders, Try not to dip as you go to the side, but to stay level with those shoulders. Hips are forward, head to center, shoulders. We will add a dip on this one though. Head's gonna go to that first side last time. Then the upper body. Next, we'll do an up and a side bend to the back corner. Now use that front side to bring your rib cage back up. And now do a side bend off the front corner. And then bring that back up to tall. Head comes to center. Body comes to center. One more time the other way. Head, shoulders, or rib cage. Lift up in the core to go towards the back corner side bend. Use that front side to pull it back. Lift up in the core to go to the front side. And then head to center, body to center. And then let it go. In the middle of all that, and that's where life is. Every middle. Thursday, according to our schedule, we're here live at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Plus or minus for our minutes. bar. And lately, it's been our press and plie workout. Thank you very much for joining us here today, either live or in the archive. And for more resources, visit our YouTube channel mm -hmm. or barsandbells.com and perhaps support us on Patreon as well. Yes, we have a Patreon account. Money helps. <laughs> Kettlebells help too, though. Until next time, we'll see you Saturday morning for our body weight play with our strength, where we use just our body weight and find some strength. Got it. And then Tuesday, it all starts again with the bell. Thanks for joining. My name's Lauren. I'm Ian. And until next time, we'll take care, stay strong, and train, train soon. soon. Goodbye.